Hello students, welcome to this class. My name is Fabi Fitzgerald and in today's lesson I will be talking to you about compound objects and subjects. A tip to identify if it's a compound object or a compound subject is to figure out whether the pronoun plays the role of a subject or object of the verb. Well, as you may already know, a compound object and subject is, um, well, it comes to be when there are, there is more than one pronoun or a pronoun is combined with another pronoun or another noun. I have four examples here written on the board and I will be explaining to you which of these is a compound subject or a compound object according to the context. Well, the first one says, Janice and I are friends. As you can see, I is the subject of this verb. Janice and I are friends. So, this is a compound subject. Janice is a noun and I a pronoun. So that is what makes it a compound subject. Janice and I are friends. I is a subject of R. The next one says, Shannon and he came to class today. Shannon and he came to class today. As you can see here, he is a subject of this noun, I mean of this verb, sorry. Shannon and he came to class today. This would make sense like this, he came to class today. Some people um, consider the fact of taking away the first noun so that you could end the conjunction so that you can see if it makes sense like that. But some of these compound objects and subjects do not make sense like that. For example, the first one, I, our friends, would not make sense. It needs to have Janice and I. The second one, Shannon and he, he came to class today, would make sense. But without it, um, with it, it would make sense also. But the first one would not. The next one is, Caroline asked me to help her in calculus class. Caroline asked, so this is the subject of this verb, me. This is the object of the verb. Remember the subject is the one who is performing the action and the object is the one who is being um, changed or affected by the action. Caroline asked, me to help her in calculus class. So this is the object of the sentence. This is an object compound or a compound object. Therefore, we must use an object pronoun. And the last one says, do you want them to take you home? Do you want them to take you home? As you can see, this here is the subject of this particular verb. And this here is the object of this verb. This is receiving the action of this verb. And this is performing the action. Do you want them to take you home? Therefore, it is the object of the sentence. And we must use an object pronoun. When it is the subject of the, ver of the verb, like here and here, we must use a personal pronoun. When it is the object, like here and here, we must use the object pronoun. Well, next, I will give you some more practice sentences and examples so that you can practice along with me and master this topic completely. Now you are going to help me fill in the blanks with the correct, um, for example, if it's a personal pronoun, 
that you must use in case it is the subject of the verb, as you already know, or with the object pronoun in case the missing part is the object of the verb. All right, the first one says, Jonathan and blank are friends. If you were to say Jonathan and yourself are friends, Jonathan and you are friends, how would you say it? I would say it like this, Jonathan and I. Why? Because it is the subject of this verb. Jonathan and I are friends. If I said Jonathan and me are friends, it would be wrong because me is an object pronoun. So that would say that me would be the object of the verb and not the subject, which in this case is the subject. The next one says, Lewis asked blank out. In this case, we are going to talk about Shelly, a girl. Lewis asked blank out. As you can see, Lewis is the subject of the verb. So we need an object of the verb. So we need an object pronoun for a girl, which is, what is the object pronoun of the personal pronoun she? Her. Lewis asked her out. We know that this is the object of the verb, therefore we use the object pronoun. And the last one says, Larry and blank are absent today. Larry and Kevin. This is the name of a man, of a boy. Larry and Kevin are absent today. So we know that this here has no subject. So we need a subject for this verb here. Therefore, we are going to use the personal pronoun of a man, which is he. Larry and he are absent today, not Larry and him. Why? Because then it would be the object pronoun and it would be incorrect because it is not playing the role of the object of the verb. It is the subject of the verb. Well, next, I will leave you some homework because you know that you need to practice a lot to improve your English. All right, now for homework, you are going to write four sentences using subject and object pronouns. Remember this tip right here. You, first, you have to figure out whether the pronoun plays the role of the subject or object of the verb. If it plays the role of the subject of the verb, you are going to use personal pronouns. If it plays the role of the object of the verb, you are going to use object pronouns. Remember, and well, if you have a workbook, please do your homework in your workbook. And for those of you who don't have one yet, please leave your homework in the comment section below this video, along with any comment, suggestion, question, or anything you want to say to me, feedback for me. I will be very thankful if you do. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Would you like to watch my next video? Click on the television to the right. Talk about the reflexive pronoun or reflexive pronouns and their usage. As you can see, I have a fact.